Well, here we are. What's What's great about this one is the first check this morning. I got my uh, good buddy Bruce Slater. He's helping me with the camera today. John had a uh, John had a wedding to go to, so he has to make some money today. And we're out here running the line and first check, two traps. We got ourselves a catch. So what I'm going to do is uh, take care of him and re do a remake and keep checking. First check of the day. It's going to be a good day. Wind died down. I think we're going to have a lot better day than we did yesterday. They, they shut off a little bit yesterday because of the wind, but we're doing good. They like that kind of stuff. I gave them a jar, gave them a jar of lure. That'll make him happy, especially if he catches something on it. But little things like that keep you on these farms. The Amish are really nice people. Okay, so got a fox up here and we got some visitors checking him out. This place here caught a coyote with uh, Glenn Witchy last year when we were trapping, me and Brian and um, Glenn. It's a couple fields. Um, pretty much just uh, that usual long line of travel thing. Um, meets down there with the drainage. And hey, get out of here. Gotta watch out, I don't get kicked. Hit, yeah. And I always pick this, this, uh, this spot here. Brian, of course, is uh, having a day off, so I'm running line for him. We got that spot there. It can be checked from the road right up there. But today we're gonna snap off for a day or two. And uh, we'll need this fence here and check this guy out. Yeah, just a pop. They're starting to move a little bit. And uh, they're just right on the line, as you can see. Right on the line. And these guys here, they don't bother him at all. So, yep, the fall shuffle is in place and on its way. Okay, so I'm gonna show this farm right here. I'm right here on the road and right out there in the field there's a fox. Let's see how many of you can see the fox, okay? Uh, I could check this right from here and say, okay, I got a fox there. I can hike in if it's wet. If it's not, well then I can just turn around and leave if there's nothing but there's a fox right there. All right, so we're gonna go in there and get the fox taken care of, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the location. We've already caught a couple here at this spot, just doing this uh, for the sake of the video, but um, let's go in there and take care of that guy, and I'll show you the spot a little bit up close. Again, checking traps from the road, efficiency, and no, I've never had an animal stolen this close. It's about 100 yards in, People drive by and have no idea what's sitting right in front of them. So here we are. Um, this is a place I've been trapping for a long time. Uh, we'll probably see a couple more catches here because we've already caught a couple. Um, but this is for the location part of the video. Um, this is a kind of like a high mound, like a uh, drainage terrace that they put in here, and uh, the wind. Uh, we're going to talk wind, wind direction here. We're going to cover this a lot more in depth in the video, but I'm going to just go over this again. The wind comes from uh, northwest this way. So any animal that's walking along this tractor path or here in this grass, there's a lot of grass over here. There's a grass strip. It's a perfect place for them to be mousing all the way up through here. Uh, will get drawn in by the scent that's over here because the wind is blowing this way. You always want to be on the downwind side of uh, or the upwind side of where the animals may be traveling. Now, yes, they may come straight across um, this from the neighbors, the neighbor farm over there. They might just come right like this, <clears throat> but uh, we got to keep the traps off of the farm lane so they don't get run over. So that's a part of the strategy as well. Um, and I shudder to think how many foxes have been caught on this grass mound right here. I know I've been here trapping 25 years, and I normally do somewhere between five and 
not more than 10, but probably between five and eight a, a year um, with a couple of years that I barely even trapped. But I, you know, probably 50 years ago, there was somebody here trapping this exact same spot. It's the same scenario over and over again. Up in here is a layup spot for them to den or just to hide out or whatever. They can also go in there and mouse. Um, so this is it. Um, this is another one of these locations here. And this will also work for coyotes. It's the same situation, a number of intersections, whether it's a drainage, farm lane, or an edge.